Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu. Today, well it's actually this evening, um, it's not even that late and I swear I could just close my eyes and fall to sleep but at the same time I so desperately want to film. It's like this constant battle of I'm so tired but I love filming so much. Oh. Anyway, I've made the effort, the table has been cleared, we've had dinner, the kids are going to bed and it's time to film. I have absolutely no purpose for this video other than to put makeup on and chat and I hope you're okay with that because um, my brain can't think of anything creative right now. I just picked makeup out that is from my shop, my stash and that's it. I actually have plan. Oh, before I get into that, before I get into like chitty chat, should we just start makeup? So I do have some inspiration. The inspiration is my eyes and i'm really excited i've been really craving putting on makeup so we're here my hair is oily it wasn't oily but i've been outside in the windy you know when that when it's windy your hair just gets like like so oily and gross that's what happened today we're going to use the glaminatrix nocturnal palette palette i haven't used this nearly as much as i wanted to and i'm just so excited i think i'm going to be doing more these tones over here um, because I have my Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner that I want to use as a base. I've used this, you could clearly see I've barely used this. The one time that I have used this, I used it as an eyeshadow base and I loved it. So we're going to do that today. And I'm not saying I'm only use these four, but the inspiration is more mustardy, greeny kind of tones. Um, and then everything else will follow suit. We're going to start with... I've got this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. That is a tongue twister for some reason. And it's really dense, but also kind of flat. So it's really good for this kind of purpose. And this doesn't need to be perfect, but it's just gonna give a really nice solid base for the Glaminatrix to go on to. It's such a good formula that it is good as a base, not just as an eyeliner. Cause it's really creamy, but then it like, dries down it's real nice i just saw that i got the email from melt cosmetics that they have another mystery bundle which is how i got this i have made orders from them as well but i think i ordered like the mystery bundle and then i got i picked the brown gel liner and the red gel liner and then i got this in the mystery bundle so that's why i have three i wouldn't get it this year just because i did it last year and i got some nice stuff and I ended up decluttering their eyeshadow palettes. I'm not a huge fan of their eyeshadow palettes, but I love everything else like their eyeliner. It's my go-to eyeliner that I'm using at the moment. Um, just a basic brown. Their lip liners are good. I, I like everything else that they have. I love their lipsticks. I love everything, but I don't love their eyeshadows. I wanted to love them because their color stories are amazing, but their quality just isn't there for me but these are fantastic i would say this is probably my favorite product that they do is these gel liners because i'm not a real gel liner kind of person if i'm honest but these i really really gravitate towards they're just a really fantastic formula and i like the versatility of them so that's pretty full on but that's okay we're just having fun we're experimenting we're enjoying the moment but see how I like that fully blended out? And now it's going to dry down and be a really good base for eyeshadow. I love it. We're going to do eyes first. I've actually already done my brows. I don't know who I am, but I did my brows first. Right, so for eyeshadow, I think I'll definitely start with Gloom here uh, in a, just a nice, really fluffy brush. I have the Morphe. They, do these even exist anymore? I know at um, Mecca, they got rid of all of these, and now they just have the vegan brush range. The M441. I'm just going to do that in the outer part. I did see their new palette, but it just didn't speak to me. Like the one, the ones that I own, I'm really happy. Like this nocturnal one is like the more fun one for me. Then I have the, is it nearly natural? I can never remember the name of that one. I, that's my favorite one. No, I have the Silent Night. That was my first one that I bought the Christmas palette. I love, love, love that one with a deep passion. But I also love the Nearly Natural. And then this is probably my third favorite, but that's just because, not because it's bad, just because it's not as neutral, you know? But I saw the new, it's called Sugar and Spice, and I really liked when they were like 
hinting at it. I thought, oh, this is going to be something that I really like, sugar and spice. But it kind of wasn't. So I decided to pass on it. I still think it's a beautiful color story. I think that's what Glaminatrix does really well, is their color stories are so unique, but so um, inspiring at the same time. But this one just wasn't my, it wasn't me, you know? So I decided to pass on that. Oh, this is nice. This is already a good start. I think I'm gonna take my, damn it. Keep losing brushes. I'm gonna take this smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the black. It's just called Shadow. I don't usually go in with blacks, but I don't know. I'm just feeling in the mood. Oh, this hair. Yeah, I don't usually use black, but I'm in the mood, you know? I just, um, I find black can either make or break. And if I'm not in the mood to risk, I just avoid it. I just go for a dark brown. <laughs> Especially because like some blacks can be really patchy and then it also because I'm so fair it really like Amps up a look. It is a good black though. It's not bad. It just really Intensifies a look for me and my fair skin. Anyway, so I made a post I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go live. I've been wanting to do it for so long It's just I mean you guys can understand like as a parent, it's really difficult to just find time where there's complete peace, but also I have that energy um, <laughs> to do a live. And it's not, it's like, it's something that I really want to do. It's just like organizing it. Um, and I think because I've never done one as well, it feels a bit daunting, I think. Um, once I do this one, I won't feel so scared to do it because I'll know how to do it. But I'm also like, like right now I use a camera to film. Like if I use my laptop, the quality is going to be really bad, right? That's what I've been thinking as well. Like if I use my laptop, I'm going to need it to monitor comments and all of that. But the quality is not going to be there. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I definitely want to um, be able to do it because I think it'd be fun to just properly chat like I'm always just talking to a camera and sometimes when I'm talking to the camera I would love feedback from you in that moment and I just can't do that in this moment so a live would be a really good opportunity to actually connect with you guys in real time so that's something I'm definitely going to do the poll is kind of uh, leaning towards um, a weeknight after 7 30 p.m. so like an evening for you guys after work which I totally understand. So I basically said for me, what suits me is a Sunday afternoon or a weeknight. Um, so it looks like it's probably gonna be a weeknight. And in that case, it'll probably be a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, because I work Thursday, Friday, and then I come home and I'm cooking. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm actually at home. So I'm thinking of doing that. What color should we do? I think we might go in with a little bit of fog just a little bit which is this kind of it's like a lime mustard i kind of want to do that just in the middle here and i thought we would just like hang out like we are like right now just not really have a whole theme or anything but it's just a time for you guys to talk with me and put on makeup and just hang out i don't think i'm going to put too much pressure on like i'm going to talk about anything specific yeah that's nice this is turning into something. And then for the shimmer now, I don't even know what shimmer to be, pick. Like this night vision is screaming my name. Should we swatch? Because I know it's a duo chrome. Oh my God. <sighs> Not Luna. Mm, or it'd be either night vision or constellation. Constellation would be the, the predictable one. Gosh, they're so pretty. Like... They just kill it. Actually, either or could go really nicely. I don't know what to do. I was going to say, we'll do a little bit of constellation and maybe a little bit of night vision over the top. I don't know. Should we go a little bit saucy? Okay, so this is kind of like an angled flat brush. And I'm going to go in with constellation first. And I'm going to do that here. Right in the middle. Oh my god. 
this is it's too much for me i can't handle this kind of level of beauty do they sell this palette anymore that's the thing with laminatrix i can't wait for them to get to a stage where they permanently have all, their whole collection not just pre-order i think they're kind of hinted that they're going to be doing that they're going to be um planning a little bit more now that they know that they can sell product i think that'd be really good because then i could promote them a little bit more as well to be like hey you can still buy this but at this stage it's just like a couple palettes at a time and then sometimes they rerun palettes it's almost too good it's too good and then i'm gonna go same brush i might just and then i'm gonna go in with night vision holy i was gonna swear i don't like swearing on my channel i swear in real life but not on the youtubes just in case there's kiddly winks watching but i'm having a moment this i actually don't have words you know this palette actually came smashed for me these two shades they weren't destroyed but they were broken and um they were having issues with it and i was like you know what i'll just press them back myself and like it's not a big deal like let's not be so wasteful and pedantic and fix things if we can fix them ourselves if they're unfixable oh totally get it totally get it you need something else but these they were just cracked i just repressed them and they were totally fine they went burst everywhere so um even though mine came like that i was happy to just press it back in tiniest bit of alcohol just for setting but it hasn't ruined the formula i mean look at this performance look at this performance okay we're going to put this to the side because we're going to do a little bit underneath once we put the makeup on my actual base is going to be pretty natural i've got the um ultra 3 starlet illuminate illuminizing primer i love this it's so underrated just this brand in general is really underrated. Actually, I'm using their bronzer today as well. If you want the cheapest alternative to the Charlotte Tilbury, this would be it. And you're gonna see as I apply it, it's got that beautiful shimmer, but it's actually still quite hydrating. It actually, it's like actually a primer. It's not just like a glowy base, like a lot of these products that are coming out and duping the Charlotte Tilbury are. And this is not a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury because it's not, you know, the same packaging and all that but it's definitely comparable in the way it looks it's really really pretty and then for foundation um in my shop my stash i have the hourglass illusion i have two though i have the shell i bought the ivory out because i actually have a little bit of fake tan it's a very light fake tan it's it's like a light shade but nonetheless this will be more suitable so i pulled this one out so this one technically isn't in my shop my stash but the other shade is so this i find less is more and um applying with my fingers is the best it is got it's got hyaluronic acid in it it's a hyaluronic skin tint with spf 15 i don't care about spf because um, i wear spf um, but this is the illusion skin tint from hourglass and i love it it's my favorite of all the complexion products they have of all their different foundations it looks really natural, but it's still, it's confusing because it's got a thick consistency. That's why applying it with your hands, I believe is ideal, but you can just see the beautiful healthiness that it gives my skin while still looking like my skin. I find that if I use a brush or a sponge, it looks too cakey, but with my hands, it just kind of melts and looks beautiful. I love wearing this on a day-to-day -day basis. And then for concealer, I've got a very natural concealer as well. I'm actually a huge fan of like full glam eyes and then a really natural base. I think it looks, it kind of balances the look out. Um, so this is the Uncover Up in 00. And the same idea, warmth of the finger is ideal with this product. This is actually a foundation. It's a all-in-one kind of product but i use it as a concealer or i'll use it if i'm not wearing any foundation i just want to a little bit in the center of my face but this is what they use um rms is rose marie rosy marie makeup rosy rose marie s what's s anyway this is the makeup artist she was the makeup artist for the victoria's secret and this is the product she used on them on the runway because it looks super natural and you can use it anywhere on the face. So there you go. Did you know that? 
now you do. I've actually been noticing RMS becoming really popular on social media. In these pots, they have a lot of products in these pots. I actually used to have the Baruti bronzer and I finished it. They're lip to cheek, they have a red one and what's popular right now is red blush. And I think that went kind of viral on the TikTok and they're the most underrated makeup brand. I love RMS. I've been using them. It's one of the first makeup brands that I used that was high end. And I really loved RMS and Costas before they kind of got really big because, not because they're clean, like I'm not someone that uses clean makeup, but I like that natural complexion look and then amping up with like blushes and eyes and all of that. I'm going to pan this one day. When I finish, I think either this or the by Terry, I wanna finish both of them by the end of the year. This is a bigger challenge, but I'm close to hitting the pan. I don't know if you can tell. I've been going at this for, this is probably expired. I've been going at this for a while. I think this is even the old packaging, but. A little bit of cream bronzer. Just got the e.l.f. putty bronzer. I've got to say, I've got to say, I used to always say that I thought this was all right, but it could be a miss, like you don't need it. I've been really loving it lately. I'm kind of having a moment with it. I think I love how soft it is. And sometimes that's what I'm looking for is seamless, soft, doesn't need any time to blend out because it's literally one with the skin. I used to hate the packaging, but look how cute and easy that is. <laughs> so it's interesting how at first you might not like a product but like I've had this product for a while and it's only kind of now that I'm like appreciating what it is and it's not that I never disliked it like I've always kept it I've never decluttered it it's just it's never been like top tier for me my eyeshadow is making me feel like a superwoman but yeah I just I think I like this and how natural it is like on an everyday situation, I would just stop here. I would not put on powder bronzer. Today we will because we're here and we're putting on makeup. Just for day to day where I do supernatural, it would be just this. Glow into the gods. And this hair is also glow into the gods. <laughs> Can we pretend that I'm doing that oil slick back look? She's editorial. Before I go in with all my powders, I will put on a little bit of this blush. This is the Made by Mitchell blush in Melon Sorbet. I think I used this on my channel in a video not long ago. It is in my shop, my stash, but this is a good color for this eye look. So here we are. I just, I've fallen in love with this blush. It looks so flat in here, but it looks so juicy and alive when I put it on my face. I just saw um, Claire Bridget. I was watching her live on TikTok and she used the RMS, not RMS, the Rare Beauty Radiant Cream Blush in, uh, I think it was called Gratitude. Anyway, it was bright red, but it fully blended out like a dream on her skin. <sighs> and now I want it. I've always been a fan of red blushes and I'm actually so happy that it's coming into trend. I love the um, Pixie on the Glow blush that I have in Ruby. My Shantakai gel blush in, I think it's Happy. Um, I have a few reds that I really love, but that one looked so beautiful. I wanna add it to my collection. <coughs> collection, that's for sure. With my under eye, I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of powder. I've just got my, um, project pan that I want to use because it's just a little bit under the eyes. This doesn't love powder, this concealer. So I really just do the most minimal to set it in place. But we want to keep that glow anyway. All right, I'm going to do under my eyes. I'm going to do a little bit of this Milky Way. It's like a pink shimmer just in that inner corner because we just don't have enough sparkle. <laughs> This is very much a very special shades kind of palette. Like even if you just take out the mattes, just these shimmers alone, are, they're all so special. It's worth it just for those. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of brown eyeliner. I'm not putting any eyeliner on the bottom, just on the top. 
I think I prefer it that way. And just a little bit of mascara, the Benefit Roller Lash. I've got to remember to take a picture of this look for my everyday makeup draw. I'm so bad at taking photos. I keep telling myself every month, don't forget to take photos of your looks of your everyday makeup draw. And I forget. So I need to do this one. Okay. I love this eye look so much. <sighs> I'm stressed. I love it so much it's stressing me out. Okay, we're going to go in with the Ulta 3 bronzer. Um, I'm probably just going to use this shade because I am a little bit more tanned. I don't really need the cooler tone. So, I'm filming this Monday night. Tomorrow is Tuesday, believe it or not. And I saw that the new Natasha Denona palette is coming out at Sephora on Tuesday so here's what I'm thinking I'm predicting because they always do new releases after their sale so I knew that this afterpay sale there'd be no new releases so I didn't buy anything because I kind of just did an order not that long ago not knowing that there would be an afterpay sale um, but that's fine so I really I have a list of things that I want to get I want to get the Fenty Beauty um, Eve's drop stick the new stick version. I want to get the Natasha Denona palette. There's a couple things that I really want to get. If those things release tomorrow, both of them, I'm actually going to put my kids in the car and we're going to drive to Sephora because I want to get that in person so that I ha I can film it on Wednesday. <sighs> Hopefully that all goes smoothly because it might not go smoothly. Like I, it might release and then not be in store. Um, I highly doubt that that would happen, like that it wouldn't be in store, but it might. But nonetheless, we're going on a road trip. It's about a 45 minute drive. My kids love going on road trips anyway, so that should be fine. It's just, I don't love going on road trips with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I want water. I'm hungry. I need to go to the toilet. You know how it is. I'm on a mission. I want it so bad. I just bought the mini starlet not knowing this was coming out. But honestly, I kind of love both anyway. Like it's been a while since I've gotten really excited about Natasha and then back to back, I love both of them. It's just a coincidence. Um, so I think, I think that's gonna happen because I really wanna film on Wednesday, the palette, the foundation. Look, the foundation might not come out, but I hope it is. Okay, so the NYX Barbie little trio, I'm going to use the orange here. In the last video, I used the pink, but I was having a little bit of a blush disaster in the last video. So I think we're having a bit of a comeback now. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's so nice. That's really nice. Yeah, because I also want to get the uh, Nude Sticks uh, Dewy Stick in Bohemian Rose. I've almost finished the mini that I have. And I've told myself I definitely want the full size. I don't know. But then do I not buy that and wait for that for this hour? Probably. It's just the more like brand new things that I want to get. The thing is I have over 500 points. So I can get 10% off if I want to. Which I probably should do because the palette alone is going to be like $120, isn't it? And the rewards in store is always better than online. They always have more in store than they have online. I've always managed to get some good rewards when I go into the store as opposed to online. It's usually like bare. This blush, this blush, oh my God. It pairs perfectly with this. That, that's a match made in heaven. I'm going to do a little bit of this highlighter. I'm going to try it because I've got fake tan on. I'm telling myself I can pull it off. I mean, it's a little much, but my eye is very shimmery. So I guess we can kind of pull it off. Oh my God. I'm in love with this makeup look. What is new in makeup that is quite catching your eye? I'm having a moment. I feel like... There's some really good stuff. I feel like there was a period of like three months where there was just nothing that I was like, oh my God. Now I feel like everything's like bam, 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 bam of things that I really want. The new RMS blushes. 
the new RMS Eyelights. They have not been announced by Mecca that they're coming out, but they're not too slow. Typically, they're not too slow in getting their stuff to Australia. So fingers and toes. I'll probably get one of those new RMS blushes, the new shades. Okay, all we have left is lips. I'm just going to go in with my lip liner I always use, the Makeup Forever. It's discontinued. And I don't know why, it's bloody perfect. And this I don't think exists either. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint in Island Time. There is literally no wording on here, that's just straight up memory. And it's like a warm toned lip balm. And it smells like passion fruit. And I just thought it's in my shop mustache and it's more of like a warmer tone. It's a real shame I'm going to bed after this. <laughs> it's a damn shame. Nonetheless, we had fun. That's the whole video. I hope you really enjoyed hanging out with me. I really hope that tomorrow is successful and I can get to Sephora and have a have a good old time. Um, because then Wednesday's video is going to be off the charts. It's going to be pop, 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 popping. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I think it's time for Mama to go to bed, have a shower, have a little kip. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.